Hi folks and welcome to a brand new Let's Play campaign of XCOM 2. I'm Shrewd Shrew and I'm so excited to be bringing this to you because we're going to be featuring all of the new content from the Long War Studios including the Long War Perk Pack and the Alien Pack. That's going to give us a much more challenging campaign as there's a whole bunch of new aliens but it's also going to bring us, and this is what I'm most excited about, loads of new options for our soldiers, tons of new abilities and in addition to that, we're running with loads and loads of mods from the community, all of which I'll post down in the description below. You can go and have a look at those yourselves. I would encourage you to check that out and do what we can to support the amazing work that's going into this game. It was good at launch and now it's just fantastic. So without further ado, let's get cracking. We're going to be playing on Legend on Iron Man. And I'm going to stay silent during the intro sequence and you can skip it if you've seen it before. Continues to build the city centers across the globe. Prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the un provoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration the speaker reaches out to us a small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. of the Advent Administration learned that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high-profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. Woo! Okay, here we go. Operation Gatecrusher. So this can be a pretty challenging first mission. And if at all possible, what I would like to see happen is for us to get out again with a full squad. If we don't lose somebody then I'm going to be pretty happy. It's more than likely that somebody's going to get hurt along the way, but uh, if we can at all survive, that would be awesome. And we also want to try and get promotions on everybody. All right, let's get stuck in. Menace 1-5, we have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. 
Okay, wicked. So we've got the advantage here of having this handy building overlooking the objective. Hopefully that's going to enable us to engage as many pods as possible, maybe all three if we can stretch to that from there. Moving that's going to mean position. that we gain a high advantage and therefore an aim bonus to our crappy rookies. The forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. And hopefully that's going to mean that we might be able to hit most of our shots. Hmm. Okay, let's go around the back. I don't like the front way round. Understood. Moving out. But we'll get up here pretty quickly. Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to set up the options for the Long War Toolbox and Perk Pack. I'd much prefer having the camera rotation on 45 degrees. 90 is a bit too harsh for me. The full squad size, I'm also going to change to 6 because we're going to be using the Long War Perk Pack and I want to be able to show off all of the awesome new classes. So when we finally upgrade to having a max squad size of 8, we'll be able to have all of the classes in there. That will be balanced out somewhat by the fact that our soldiers will be leveling up slower because there's going to be less XP to go around because it's going to be less kills to go around. Additionally, we're playing with loads of other mods which are going to make the game more challenging, so I'm quite happy that the balance won't be lost by having a slightly larger squad. Autos confirmed on the move. Alright, let's moving keep out. moving up. Once we're in position on top of this building, we can start initiating combat. At the moment, as you can see, we are in concealment. The icons at the top of the screen there show show that also around the borders you can see this misty Moving effect so that gives us the advantage for now as soon as we engage though we'll lose that good to go location confirmed menace one five you're near the target position On the move. Okay, we're now in pretty good position. We just need to wait for a patrol to come through. Here they come, lovely. Alright, before we do engage, I'm just going to run through our squad as they stand here. We've got Maura O'Carroll. She looks serious and ready for action. Daniel Murphy. There's two from Ireland. Hans von Steinstein. And Dave Jackson. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to engage this turn. We want to make sure we've got as many of them in a shooting position as possible. Yes, they can all see, so I'm going to use the closer ones on Overwatch. Fire shots. And we're going to initiate with blue. 86%. Not bad. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, he's got some loot as well. Hostiles pacify. Might, Might be an issue for us to go and get that. But I really do want to go and We've get the fossils. Spotted. Lovely. That couldn't go any better, could it? That's that's brilliant. Okay, awesome. So we'll send someone up on a mission to go and pick up that. <sighs> We're more than likely to trigger a second group, though. Sadly, um, moving out. But it's worth it. I really want to collect that. We're moving using something called Grimy's Loot Mod, which adds all sorts of wonderful new stuff to the game new weapons armor uh, upgrade mods for gremlins loads of cool Stop things i want to take as much advantage of that as possible and it's going to be helpful especially i think in the early game as we are able to get our hands on some better equipment okay you can reload so let's do that Auf geht's. Na los, yeah. zeigt euch. Right. on overwatch you can also reload. No harm in that. Back in. Come get some. Alright, we've 
we've got a bit of a risk here, I think. I'm going to stick a couple of them on Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. And then make a... Pr oh, shit. <sighs> I needed that to be a blue move to pick that up. Um, that's a mistake by me. Moving out there for a yellow move is just asking for trouble. Um, shit. Do we do this? Alright, let's have a think about it. If I do do this and collect it, and there's no enemies, that's the ideal situation, everything's cool. There's still two pods on the thing though, so I reckon there's more than a 50-50 chance of, of hitting a new pod. If we do go out there and collect it, and then the pod appears on the flanking side, we can basically say goodbye to Daniel Murphy. Which, as as greedy as I'm feeling for this new equipment, I don't think I don't feel like I can take that risk as a commander. So I'm just gonna have to let it go. Overwatch. Here it gets next. Quiet. Did you hear something? I did. It sounded like a sector to me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, focus. Nasty looking Although player. they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. <laughs> oh, it makes me sad we lost that. Still, everyone's alive and unharmed still. Grenade Apart out. from this poor sectoid. Here you go, bud. Oh, wow. How did that not destroy the cover? Oh, shit. Um, Alright, so I think we're just going to have to have some pot shots if we've got reasonable. Yeah, 66% is not bad. Alright, let's go, Mora. No. Get it together. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Blue. Yes. Lovely. Enemy sound. Okay, so there's still someone out there. Um, gonna. Um, gonna want to put hands on Overwatch somewhere. He's furthest away from the action right now. It's a shame there's no cover here. I think, even though this is a couple of squares back, it might be a better spot for holding okay. Overwatch from. So these new drones are new. These new drones are new. Yes, they are. They are part of the Long War Alien Pack, and I haven't seen fully what they can do yet, and so I'm not sure how bad an adversary they are. They've clearly got a couple of points of armor, which is a problem for us this early in the game. I know that they can stun you in a similar way to the stun lancers. Also, obviously, they're a lot more mobile than them, and they can do a zappy zap type of electric electrical attack, similar to the gremlins that we have and the combat protocol. So, they I haven't seen them be too dangerous, but I don't want to underestimate them at the same time. 46. They have got inherent, like inbuilt defense here of minus 20, that's because they're a flying unit, so they've got. Between that and their armor value, they're going to be quite tricky for us to, to take down. All right, I don't want to Scanning. relinquish Scanning a bit. our a height Side advantage here, so I'm just going to have a pot shot with Daniel and put the rest on over. When off the armor, gonna need to reload soon. From folks. Shot wide. Nice. Enemy down. Very nice. Okay, that's two pods down, one to go. We've been pretty fortunate here. Okay, so this turn, rather than move up or do anything, I'm just gonna to get back into position, take some reloads, and then overwatch. There's no rush, there's no need to put ourselves in a position. 
Okay, so where is the last pod? I reckon just a couple of turns of Overwatch if you'll bear with me. You hear that? Aha. Uh -huh. So the fact that we're getting some sound location from them leads me to think that they may be walking around this way, they may be coming closer. Hopefully they're gonna spot one of their one of this people in this massacre and be like, oh what's this? We better go and see. I'm on it. So there's definitely moving. Oh, here they come, fantastic. Nice. Oh my god, I love this team. Totally. Oh, that was awesome. So... That's interesting. They didn't scatter. Um, but one of them pointed at us, so they obviously know we're here. Um, they're going to have to advance up to be able to take a shot at us. So I'm happy actually to just sit down a whole bunch of Overwatch and see what they do. Let's go, team. Come on now. Nice. Kill confirmed. Ooh. One left. Okay. Get it together. All right. Unfortunately, he's on Overwatch. Have we got a grenade? Oh, it looked like it did for a second, but it, look, it sometimes jerks out, doesn't it, and uh, gives you a false hope <laughs> at the beginning when you select the grenade. Okay, so we can't move up. Unfortunately, he can't see us at the moment. If we go there, he can't see us. If we go there, he can't see us. So, I mean, according to the information that we're getting from this little icon here, he can't. We can't currently. Obviously, can't see him. He can't see us. If we move there, the same. If we move there, the same. But if we move to that spot, we can see each other. Now, usually when you first step out into vision that won't trigger the overwatch i would love to be able to take that flank oh dude what about that you can't see us from either of those two or that one so i think that 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 feels less safe because we're walking from that square into his vision whereas here we're just going to be popping out from behind that cover oh we haven't taken any damage so far okay i've got a plan so we'll take pot shots with everyone with a cup with the people on the roof we'll take pot shots we take them down <laughs> so much the better all right target neutralized amazing Area is secure. Amazing. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Holy crap, that's so clear. good. Menace one five, we have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. You got it. We are on it, buddy. Verstanden. Wow, that couldn't have gone any better. Solid copy. Perfect. I'm loving this squad. I'm loving it. Don't need you to do anything, Daniel. If you could please plant the charges. Yeah, I'm grateful that I didn't try to go for that loot early on. It was just too risky a move. And as we saw, Roger that. And as we saw, that would have got him killed. Well, it certainly would have triggered that. Part, it? Goodbye, alien statue. So I'm not sure about the sanity of taking out that big statue we're really early on in our in our XCOM fight we've got a bunch of rookies and we are not very well equipped we don't know anything about what the aliens are up to at the moment and we've got them blown up a massive statue which is going to definitely grab their attention still I guess if we just go charging in and get stuck get stuck in that's going to uh, get them used to what they've got coming for the rest of the game we don't want them here they send a message i guess that's the plan yeah you deserve to be happy folks that was awesome i'm totally happy with that there's the new 
lightweight Sky Ranger. Here comes our heroes. I told the troops to expect the best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. <laughs> thanks very much. All right, so let's see what we've got. All new classes, thanks to the Long War perk pack. Let's see what we got here. Grenadier, oh, hooray. Nice one, more up. So, as expected, launch grenade, grenade launcher. However, the, the unusual thing is that they've split the grenadier class from vanilla XCOM 2 into two different classes now, much more like the old school um, kind of rocketeer and gunner flavors from the long war in XCOM 1. So she's got a standard assault rifle and the grenade launcher. Dave, what you got? Hacker, perfect. So, so a change here for the specialist class is that they still do start with a protocol and hack skill as we're as we're used to, but they've added haywire protocol to the to the specialist uh, to the squaddy level, and I'm really happy to see that actually because it makes a lot of sense to me that we can hack enemy robots and turrets if we can use this thing to go and hack the. The scanning post I don't see why we can't use it straight away to hack other things too so I'm happy to see that change we've got a sharpshooter that's awesome so squad sight as you'd expect got long-range sniper fire from the gun but also we've now got steady weapon which you also may be familiar with from XCOM 1 long war which enables them to spend an action to gain plus 20 aim on the next shot that's gonna be extra cool in long war 2 as sometimes we're gonna be in the position where we're concealed and we can set up nicely to take uh, to take down to get the best jump possible on the advent of aliens that we're fighting so I'm happy to see that shinobi completely new class awesome shinobi geek nice work so he's got the sword as you can see but also an assault rifle so we don't have the shotgun that we're familiar with with the ranger class from XCOM 2 however we're starting with phantom which is a perk that I would be getting regardless so I would be definitely spending points on that so I'm I'm really excited to be able to have that as as the starting perk so we've got slashes we would expect for having the sword but this other ability is called flesh um, or fleche I don't need to look up how to pronounce that and that is basically that the momentum from the movement that you take before the attack gives you additional damage so plus one damage for every three tiles between your starting position and the target that you strike with the sword all right let's get back into base no loot sadly but five cor five trooper corpses one sectoid one drone work and an advent officer corpse all of those are going to be very useful for Commander, our research to the research labs all right so welcome to our XCOM mobile base we're out in quite an arid looking area at the moment this is going to be flying all over the world uh, and our sky ranger drops from within here so it's super cool we're going to head straight it's over dark, into research it's tank and it's mostly metal this ship isn't all that different from the old <laughs> yeah you said it head straight over into research impressive isn't it capable of generating immense power you're completely harmless to human life if only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens technology commander dr richard tigan chief science officer i am responsible for the entirety of our research here as well as the procedure you so recently underwent welcome to my lab such as it is i'm not sure what central may have told you but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Thanks, Rick. Okay, so we're in research here. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna show you quickly this awesome mod called Tech Tree. It provides a little button down here in the research lab, and it's wonderful. It shows you the entire layout of all of the available research 
you can get in the game. What we're going to do just to show you, um, I'm going to push into Alien Biotech Advent Officer Autopsy, which is going to give us, which is going to unlock the AWC, the Advanced Warfare Center, and that's really important for us because something that has lost me campaign after campaign in this game is wounded troops, and that will help us by, if we install an engineer in it, it's going to double the speed at which our wounded soldiers recover. I feel like we got pretty lucky in the first mission. I'm not so good that we can expect a flawless mission every time so I'm going to push for that as soon as possible. We're then going to head over into Advent Trooper which will get us Battle Scanner which is a really important piece of equipment that we're going to need uh, going in the early part of the game. One other thing that I will do probably is stop off to get modular weapons but since we don't have any loot at the moment I'm going to ignore that fact. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing okay, options available. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it. But from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. So, rest in peace, Shen Senior, and thanks for the hard work getting this awesome ship up and running. So we are going to work hard on getting engineers wherever possible because we need them to unlock the facilities and get moving on all sorts of things. The engineers are more important than the scientists in this game, especially early on. So I'm considering building a flashbang grenade and a med kit, which is things that I've done traditionally. But what I'm going to do with the facilities here is instead of building guerrilla tactics school first off, and getting a flashbang grenade which will then deplete all of our supplies I'm gonna wait until we unlock the AWC and get that straight away and the AWC costs 175 supplies so I'm gonna just try and hang back uh, if we get any more money then I will spend that on a flashbang but for now I'm gonna leave this just give you a very brief overview this is very familiar XCOM territory we basically clear these areas and that then enables a new empty facility space which we can then fill with all sorts of wonderful places that I will I will describe and tell you about as we go forward. I don't want to spend too much time here but essentially if we clear an alien debris we get supplies from it, if we clear alien machinery we get supplies and also alien alloys which are another resource we need and if we clear an exposed power coil it's going to enable us to put uh, an advanced power system facility in there which is going to be very helpful as we get on and we become more cramped for facility space. So straight to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thanks, Central. Okay, so the first thing that we've got here is a rumour from the resistance of an abandoned colony. We can go there and pick up some rookies. It's a shame he's not an engineer, but... Avenger plotting new course. Let's head there. So you can see here that we're on a world map. And whilst we're on this screen, you'll see that the clock is ticking. So I don't want to waste any time when we get stuck in scanning. As we scan, it accelerates time. And any other events that occur during as the time is passing will jump up on us. So we got the rookies straight out three new rookies we're going to go over into the armory in a minute and have a look who we've got Erin Johnson 
Jake Jansen and Sarah Taylor. Awesome. Let's head straight on over to get those supplies. That's Avenger awesome. plotting new course. So giving you a little bit of an overview of the world map, obviously there are a number of regions. At the moment we're only in contact with one of them, which is the where Resistance HQ is. And I'm gonna basically be taking whichever scanning options become available to us because if there's only one then we should go for that. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Thanks, Dick. Okay, so added. we are going to pursue finding out about what those creepy implants are. It doesn't seem too bad, though, really. we have spent 20 years... Have ...clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. Yeah. The implanted chip mm. is the key. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem too weird to me spending 20 years being forced to play war games whilst in suspended animation. Nice. Okay, so we've unlocked the Warfare Center, which is amazing. We're going to go ahead and build that right now. We've also now unlocked the Sectoid Autopsy, which we're going to leave for a bit later, and the Advent Officer Autopsy, which we're going to get going on. So we will unlock modular weapons, but we don't yet have an imperative to do that. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Well, that looks like messy work, mate. You crack on with that. Bud. I must admit, having successfully completed the operation necessary to remove the commander's implant, I am intrigued by the possibility of examining another subject for comparative analysis. Since the officer in question will likely have expired long before arrival here, I may rely on a faster, more invasive approach to removing the chip this time around. Whatever you feel is appropriate, Ricky baby. Science is not my department. Okay, so let's have a look at who else we've got here in our rookie squad. We've got the three new people that we got, but let's have a look at who else we've already got waiting for us. Bayou Dragon Yaki, he looks awesome. Aiden Ross, Sergei Vladkov, the bad boy Russian. I can't wait to get him into the field. Soonbok Animal Kim, she's been good for me in other games. Alexei Soyololov, he's got the classic guy or haircut which I'm not sure if I'm a fan of maybe we'll be able to switch that one out Sarah Taylor as we've seen already not looking too happy at the moment Jake Jones wow morale not too high around here at the moment you think it was the end of the world all right let's see what's going on at the bridge oh no I want to build a facility so yeah, as I was saying, we could build the Guerrilla Tactics School straight away, but I don't want to do that. Even though it's amazing, I want to start the Advanced agency. Advanced Warfare Center Construction Initiated. Got our first Guerrilla Ops. Awesome. So Guerrilla Ops, our, our opportunity is XCOM to take the fight to the enemy. 
we're going to get these coming up from time to time and they're offensive missions where we get to go around the world and gain rewards from whatever the mission is we're only in asia at the moment so we only got one option of a guerrilla ops but as we contact more areas around the world we'll get further um further options and we can choose pick and choose the rewards and so on in this case we're destroying the alien relay and we're going to get an engineer as a rule which is absolutely awesome it's exactly what we need right now all right let's crack on setting course for east we can asia. come back for those supplies later on oh brilliant six person team now that's awesome okay well actually i'm going to leave it here for part one i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you back very soon for part two take care folks